Hey designers, so this video is to solve your doubt on design tool. So which one to use, whether it's Figma or Sketch or XD. Let's see the comparison of these three and um, I let you choose your own. Let's see it one by one. So where it stands and where it goes out. When it comes to platform and operating system, Sketch is exclusive to Mac OS, but Figma and XD can be used in both. And uh, Figma can be a website application as well. You can, if you want to install it, you can install it and use it. Uh, but when it comes to XD, you have to similar like sketch you have to have the connection with creative cloud to use that application so you have to download the creative cloud first and create an account and then you can get access to XD but currently XD is also paid the ways of getting started in each of this application is different in Figma these are presented as short written lessons and design exercises in XD, it offers a step-by-step -step video guidelines, video tutorials, and other recorded live streams. And Sketch has its own documentation with somehow um, like how it can help the beginners and it's absolutely a beginner friendly as the other two platforms. When it comes to interface, uh, the working platform, the working interface that you're gonna see, similarly, everyone is uh, like both are same. It can be XD, it can be Sketch, it can be Figma, all the tools and things like everyone is like most of it are similar. So it's easy. If you know one platform, Platform, it is easy to use the other two platforms as well and about the plugins uh, in Figma and Sketch like Figma is having its own community plugins you can download it and install it you, you don't need to search for like other applications or in web to get the plugins and also when it comes to XD it has both native and uh, maybe uh, third-party plugins as well if you want to download it you can download from outside and when it comes to Sketch it has its own integrations uh, of prototyping animations and you can use the Envision Zeppelin application to use like maybe to export and and hand off web I mean developer hand off and things and all so this happens in XP so sorry this happens in sketch so you can maybe either choose between when it comes to plugins like I feel Figma is comfortable for me now maybe XD was comfortable before but now Figma is comfortable for the developer handoff uh, as I told earlier we have to use some handoff tools like Zeppelin uh, when it comes to sketch to export that and then uh, share it with the developers and uh, another one is we can for the Figma we can invite the developers or someone else like whoever it can be in the design team you can uh, invite them to the platform to review it or uh, to inspect it to know everything about the designs that is one way and another one is uh, XT that will actually uh, give the share option uh, share developer link or something you have to generate a link and then share it with the uh, dev team or design team it can be just a design link and if you want to share it with the design team who don't know uh, who don't need that uh, development items or elements that is like um, how many pixels and colors and things like that which is codes or everything that if that is not needed you can just share the design link oops power cut but nothing will stop me <laughs> from taking this video okay let's continue when it comes to pricings sketch has its own 30 day free trial then uh, you can pay if you want the access for the whole and then next one is xt it has a seven day free trial uh, then you have to pay now it is totally been like free trial is only allowed when you are using it for the first time or else you have to pay if you are if you have already finished with the seven day trial so with a email id with a one creative account like creative cloud account you can be able to use it once if you ask me the question whether you have to learn a figma or sketch or xt if you are just getting started with ui then it's better to use figma it's my suggestion maybe uh, this is more simpler and uh, because you don't need to pay a lot just to start right like you can start use it get used to it and then if you are if you like the interface Pays better or if you like the tool more and then you can pay for it so uh, it's very short time seven day trial 30 day trial is very short time to learn about ui a lot so whether to identify whether the tool is really good or not so figma stands out in that case so if you can learn as much as possible in a free startup pack startup version so go with that maybe i, I don't know whether maybe in future it can be it can also be changed to paid but still uh, we have a lot of time until then you can start learning about it yeah that's all for today thank you so much bye bye